If you loved Sherwin Williams' color of the year, Evergreen Fog, but wanted something even cooler, look no further. This is Sherwin Williams Retreat SW6207, and it is giving me all of the good vibes. It almost feels like a progression of the mid-tone sage greens that have really grown in popularity. The question that I hope to answer in this video is, what makes Retreat so special? Also, you're very special if you press that like button. And if you didn't, then hopefully you can do it later on. So Retreat is a fairly deep, yet still inviting green. It also has this toned down blue undertone that can really drastically transform any room you use it in your house. It's not your average neutral color that you might've seen. It has a lot more to it. I don't necessarily endorse using it in every room of your house, but more power to you if that's your choice. Starting with some technical stuff, let's talk about how dark this color is. We can tell this based on the light reflectance value or the LRV, which is advertised on the Sherwin-Williams website. This color has a 21, which means it's reflecting 21% of the light that hits it. The higher that number is typically, the lighter the color will appear. So based on that information, yeah, pretty dark color basically in the bottom 20%. I find whether you have natural or artificial lighting, it's gonna be a decent choice in both, but I think it does thrive when exposed to a nice amount of window light because it'll help accentuate the liveliness that this color can bring. It does have that green element too, even though it is cooler leaning, so it is very transitional in nature. It really does a solid job working with cooler and warmer colors, generally speaking. I also find it can help create a really relaxing and calming atmosphere in your home. It's perfect for bedrooms, in my opinion. It's suitable for living rooms and even bathrooms. Essentially, you can think of it as either a somewhat subtle accent color choice or a secondary color in the sectioned off parts of your home. Basically rooms that can be closed off by doors so they're not always in plain sight. I also like it outside, mainly as an interesting main body color. More people are opening up to the idea of going with darker, more saturated colors on the exterior of their homes because modern paints generally hold their color over time more effectively. You don't have to worry about your colors fading after a couple of years. But if you were convinced that this is the perfect color for you, I would watch out for that blue undertone. Sometimes it can be over accentuated when used outside. So like all colors, test it out, please. Retreat also pairs really well with other colors, especially off whites and creams. It's perfect for creating a modern and contemporary look that will make your home stand out, especially if you combine it with my color pairings. Let's go for a press of that like button to hype ourselves up for this awesome color palette I put together. Color number one, Ancient Marble. This has an LRV of 60. And if you know me, I am loving the low 60 LRV colors, especially for walls. And I actually found out recently that my fellow Canadian content creator, Kylie M, also loves the low 60s, super exciting. More specifically, she loves 62 LRV colors, apparently. Great, check her content out, she's cool. So this color is nearly a greenage. Ooh, I love greenage. Beigey, greeny color, sort of that vibe, but it's more so a warmer gray green. So not a ton of that beige aspect, not quite enough in my books, but next to Retreat, I didn't necessarily want something that had a ton of warmth to over accentuate the coolness in Retreat. I just wanted some green on green goodness and they're both a bit sort of subtle and toned down in their own way. Obviously Retreat, way darker, way more color in. Number two is Alpaca, which is a very popular Sherwin-Williams color. If you're a fan of the company, you know about this one, but if you don't, here you go. It has an LRV of 57. It's a touch darker than the last color. Virtually no green in this one. Not quite a rouge, which is another made up color of mine. Rougey, kind of gray. It doesn't have too strong of a red undertone to make it truly rougey, but there is a touch of a slightly pinky brown quality. Very much an alternative to ancient marble in the spaces where you don't need that much green. Maybe you want something a little more neutral to sort of play off of it. And of course, it's gonna be a bit more complimentary as a lighter neutral because the pinkiness versus the green, there's gonna be a bit of dynamism there, which I like. You don't get much more dynamic than carnelian, which is the third color, LRV of six. 
super dark color, definitely a mega accent color for multiple reasons. The darkness, the saturation, this purpley reddish brown that has this deep crimson red. It's gonna be pretty sharp to anything green leaning, especially, aka the first two colors. And then you have that touch of reddish brown and alpaca, which means carnelian will fit like a glove next to it. So you can either keep the hues separate and kind of have a green theme and a reddish brown theme, or mix and match them for something more fun and complimentary. If you go that route, my advice is try and have at least a three to one or a four to one ratio between each of those colors because you don't want like a 50-50 green and red split. It'll just look way too complimentary, way too jarring, way too visually stimulating. Time for trim colors. So the first one is a lighter trim color, which is probably gonna be good for most of you. Normally people gravitate towards off-white or white trim. So my choice would be natural white for this color palette. It's delicate. Elegant, aka delegant. I almost see it as a powdery white. Really pretty, not overly bright and stark. It's just an easy choice for a lot of people. But if you wanted a more difficult choice, something that's a little more dramatic and dark, you can go with pewter green. And this is an LRV of 12. So not quite as dark as that red that we talked about earlier, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this color, even as a darker wall color alternative to Retreat. But really, if you use this as a trim color, it'll be kind of a darker variation of Retreat on the baseboards. So you just get that subtle uptick in depth or downtick, however you want to put it. Personally, I always think it's nice to have some contrast between your wall color and your trim color. Like you kind of want to notice there's a difference or the other way around is just no difference at all. Just go with the exact same color. But Retreat and Peter Green together, they give you a little bit more than a baby step of depth difference. So you will notice them. It's not going to be totally redundant to use them both. Peter Green is also a great trim color for ancient marble for sure, because they share that green aspect. And even alpaca and carnelian, although in a more visually stimulating way, a little more of an artsy choice if you go that route. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think and evergreen fog. This was a very great color. I think it's still very relevant today.